about to play Draco Slayers and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I have stolen Team Samurai X1's office. By the way, where is my new home? There! It's only fitting for the Master Duel GOAT. And I'm now going to show you guys everything you need to know about Draco Slayers in this video. Everything. I'm talking about full guide, how to combo, how to duel, how to build the deck, deck list. Theory, mind. I gotta give a shout out to Team Samurai X1, who I'm, I'm using his office. You wanna know why? Because I felt like it. And I wanna give another shout out to the beautiful Beyond the Pendulum deck boxes on TriffGaming.com. Also, very special Draco Slayer playmat. We actually have this is a TCG, Master Duel Players. It's time to get in the TCG. We got a Draco Slayer playmat. What that being said, Draco Slayer playmats are cool, but it's not as cool as putting up a thousand negates with Draco Slayers. Let's go. This is the deck list. Now I'm gonna explain everything inside and out. This deck list is beautiful. There are two ways to play the deck. With a lock, like a full fledged, you cannot play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Amorphage Sloth, Amorphage Zachary Lock. And the other one is this. I'm gonna show both styles of the deck. I'm gonna explain what each of them do. And in later videos, I will explain uh, in duels how to play through interruptions, how to play through boards, how to obliterate Kashtira loser ugly decks very simple and easy so pay close attention let's go for starters this is a hand trap it's a control deck this is a deck that wins off advantage you have cards like maxi ash blossom you have three four five you got eight bis deals you got talents you got desires you got respect it's a deck that wins off control and what the main th a theory of the deck is is it utilizes chaos emperor the dragon of big arms to be able to defeat the opponent we use joker and rod eyes revolution dragon and sky iris which is searchable by this to specifically search for chaos emperor the dragon armageddon all the time and we actually use the bestials to banish our own revolution dragon because revolution dragon is not once per turn you are actually able to banish your own revolution dragon to then add it back with chaos emperor dragon use it for a second time and then chaos emperor dragon something else summon on the field you have a free level eight not only for beyond the pendulum not only for making a rank eight, but for making Electromite. You guys know what this card does? Fucking wins the game. <laughs> so it's absolutely amazing how this deck functions. And if you were to ever have, like you don't drop prosperity is incredible in the deck. Playing double desires as well. You don't really care too much. There's only one luster. I Playing two master is a thought, but that's enough. One luster, one master. You do need one of each though. The deck needs them for being a dragon because we have a pisty combo. I will showcase the combo. Uh, so stay tuned. There's a specific combo that you need to do. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to go into the deck list now, card for card. You got Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. You do need to play one of this because it's a dragon. I would love to just play three Luster Pendulum and you, then you don't need to play one, but you do need to play it because it's a dragon and Luster only a one. So make sure to get Luster out of the deck before he desires. Three Maxi, three Ash Blossom. You play one Magna Mutt, one Druid Worm, two Soranir, one Baldrake, three Lubelion. You could play three Soranir if you like. That's also an option, but at what cost like you're gonna have to remove a talents then or remove a desires i think talents is so incredibly good in basically going first going second in a format with everyone if you don't play hand traps you lose the game talents is vital as well to take your opponent's kashtira cards you want cards that destroy kashtira so i do think talents is mandatory at three uh so i opted to just play two sorting instead of three so i don't play 41 three lubelian the one luster three joker you need to play three ignis you need to play three majesty pegasus you need to play three dynamite don't play bambuku joker searching this is the this is the deck chaos emperor is the deck you're gonna see exactly in the comp tutorial that i show you it is the entire deck this is how you plus magically and the whole way you really win is through electromite through beyond the pendulum and through getting the rank eights without electromite or beyond the pendulum this deck loses an incredible amount of power so be able to get a free card to make electromite or beyond the pendulum is absolutely critical and the fact that it's 3000 attack going second its effect is also very relevant and you think of, oh, but Triff, people are just going to Kashtira lock you. No, bro, they're going to lock your monster zones. They're not going to lock your scales. They don't know what you're playing. They could look into the extra deck, but it'll be too late by the time they look into the extra deck that by then they already committed to getting rid of the scales. And the Bistials actually help you get rid of that. Very simply, a Rise Heart is not a card. And Bistials very help you get rid of it, easily help you get rid of it. And we use a lot of tricks to get rid of it. Cards like Ignister is worth to get rid of the lock. Cards like Baron, because when Ign Ignis pops a card or when Ignis gets destroyed, it summons out a tuner, which then allows you to summon Bestial to make Baron. There's a lot of small, intricate ways to get rid of the cards, which I'll show you. We play, after that, we play the one cast Emperor, Big Arms, three Revolution Dragon, two Desires. You could play three Desires, but you're already playing Prosperity, so you don't necessarily need to play three Desires. Prosperity is better than Desires in this deck. If you're going first, you already have everything you need. Just banish it for three. There's no reason to get rid of your grind game. 
three talents i think talents is ridiculously good one sky iris because you need any field spell to search with uh, maiden or magic pegasus you could play one chicken game as well if you like it's not the worst because you can lecture might pop the chicken game and one branded beast we only need one branded speller trap to get there's another version of this deck uh which i'm actually going to showcase with sam it's very incredible the end board is an auto win where you actually play Sloth and Lechery. The reason why you play Sloth and Lechery is at the very end board when you finish, you have Electromite, you have 10 ways to Allage Revolution Dragon to essentially search Lechery. So the end board ends on Lechery in the scale, and then you use Seal right away in draw phase. You use Seal to bounce your own card back to hand to special a Sloth. This means that Sloth will be on the field. Your opponent cannot special monsters from the extra deck. Lechery uh, does not allow them to use spell cards. So they can, you lock them out of spells, you lock them out of using the extra deck, and their only answer is to enter battle phase, attack the sloth, right? But then you end on dinosaur power or hope harbinger, which does not allow them to enter the battle phase to attack the sloth. By them not being able to attack the sloth, they physically cannot out the lock. So the lock stays there for good. On top of that, you typically have a baron and a branded beast on top. So it's just an incredible lock. I just opted to make the deck a little bit better going second. Both are awesome. This one destroys the opponent going first. Uh, the end board of, of this without the Sloth and Lechery, it's not crazy. It's about a four or five interruptions. But because of the defensive cards, I do rely on Maxi, Ash, Bistials. You have desires to get more talents if you get hand trapped. So I opt to just go for four or five interruptions instead of the auto win Lechery and Sloth. But this Draco without Lechery, this board is could lo hard lose to any deck that has a lot of go second spells. Like if they decide to play a deck that just go second you'll lose because they're gonna play too many spells unless you go Lechery. So you kind of have to decide which one you like more. As far as the extra deck, we've got one Dinosaur Power. You got two Ignister. We got a Baron to Floor. You need two Ignister, by the way. It's vital. Uh, one Magister Paladin. Like if they look into your extra deck and get rid of the Ignister, you're cooked. You, you need two Ignister. Uh, one Magister Paladin, one Hope Harbinger, one Galaxy Eyes. Two Rank 8s come up a lot. One Pisty, one Triple Burst is vital. One Seal, one Electromite, one Beyond the Pendulum, one Selene, one Apollo, one Axis Code. All these are vital. There's scenarios you want to end an Apollosa, scenarios you want to end an Axis Code. There's a lot of times where you actually go Seal and then Apollosa for four at the very bottom underneath Seal. So Apollosa does not need to be at the top. You could summon like crazy in this deck as you're going to see in this combo tutorial. And the replays that are going to be shown in later videos or in a later video, I'm going to show a bunch of duels. Absolutely ridiculous. Like this deck's incredible. I think it's the best deck in Master Duel right now after nothing. So with that being said, why don't I show you guys the combo tutorial? Let's go. Time to show you guys how to combo with this deck. This is a pretty typical hand you're going to have. A bunch of Draco Slayers and all this. We already hard open Chaos Emperor. So if you notice here, we use Otto's Revolution Dragon. Now we have three Revolution Dragon. We have three Joker. That's six. You have a Prosperity that will always get to it. That's seven. Desires will always get to it. That's nine. Sky Iris is ten. And anytime you special summon Majesty Maiden, Majesty Pegasus via the thousand ways to do it, you search Sky Iris to search Revolution Dragon to search Chaos Emperor. So you pretty much have it every single hand. Electromite gets to it. Everything. So the idea is if you don't open Chaos Emperor, you want your Revolution Dragon to search Chaos Emperor. If you hard open Chaos Emperor, you want to search Luster Pendulum. This is vital. What I'm going to show you guys right now, what I'm going to tell you guys right now is the specifics on how to combo with this deck. And it's the be all end all. It's, a, it's more linear than most Pendulum decks. First and foremost, set up Chaos Emperor and set up a Bistial. That's first and foremost play. This is how you play through interruptions and hand traps. Next, you go to Lubelion. You could have start with Lubelion to play around Shifter a little bit better, but who cares? So now you search Bistial Magnemut. The next play, you go Magnemut specifically, banish your own card. Do not banish the opponent's card. Your opponent's tier limit deck is garbage. Don't worry. Use, oh, by the way, this deck obliterates every tier limit deck. In TCG, when Draco Series came out, when tier limit was running rampant full power, I obliterated every tier limit loser with, Dra with Bistial Draco Slayer. So if you face tier limit, eventually the Kashtira hype will die down the same way every single pack the new deck always is played the most. It dies down quickly. And Kashtira sucks without a Rise Heart. It sucks without the field spell. So until that comes out, we're not going to see too much Kashtira. Because without those cards, the deck's awful. So now we're going to go Magnemut. Banishing specifically the Revolution Dragon. Use the effect to add at the end phase. This is a control deck. So these pluses are vital. And we're going to go CED here. See this? It's going to get a free card now. It's going to get us Revolution Dragon from the extra, from the Banish Zone for free. We're then going to bring up Lubelion for free. Get Branded Beast. Now, you could use Revolution Dragon, but I'm going to save it. I don't need to use it yet. Keep in mind, Revolution Dragon can also special summon Ignister from the graveyard. Okay? It's a typical combo tutorial. We're gonna use, now, whatever you have next for the Draco Slayers, it doesn't matter. You can, if you have Maiden and Luster, if you have Dynamite and Ignister, the idea now is depending on the Draco Slayer hand you have, that you could have Maiden, you could have Ignis, you could have Dynamite, you could have Luster. You'll always have Luster Pendulum. This might be a one, but this is the most important card in the deck, by the way. Luster Pendulum is vital. All the cards combo with Luster Pendulum, and it's important to play correctly with it with 
all the best deals astrograph's decent in the deck but sometimes it could be a bricks so opt-in not to play it but it's not bad so now we're gonna do a luster pop ignis at ignis what this will do is that it'll trigger ignis the special maiden you have a situation here if you like to use this effect to search sky iris but just in case he has a hand trap because actually showed he had something i opted to keep talents and you could maiden at any time you want on the pen summon later whatever i use beyond the pendulum right now to search maiden always try and get maiden in the scale this is very vital if you notice i didn't open maiden so by going beyond the pendulum right now i majesty pegasus or not maiden or majesty pegasus you want this in there because even draco slayer is, is a control deck after you pen summon after you get some summons you could summon so much more afterwards as you're going to witness so try and get the draco slayer in the scale even after pen summon pen summoning because you can still get great value we're going to pen three over here and it looks like a weak pen summon just three like what's this do, really do but you're going to see now and now going keep in mind if you're going second your opponent if they didn't stop lebellion they didn't stop magnum they didn't stop cd they're they're cooked you can then special ced as well i'm opting to save the ced for any moment that might be bad uh you could play around nibiru by going into this guy first it's macedal no one plays that in this format opted not to but if you're going second use the ced to push on the opponent's interruptions and then go over beyond the pendulum you have talents as well it's not used like going second we cook everything here so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna use maiden to search dynamite i'm gonna actually pop the luster pendulum this is an extender and i want luster pendulum in this extra deck you either want a pendulum summon luster pendulum or you want to summon it by this way by going into magister paladin now i'm going to use magister paladin the special luster pendulum luster pendulum now this is what's going to get big keep in mind we need this magister paladin is going to fill our graveyard with the cards we need to eventually summon back later we could summon this with selene we could summon it with dynamite it's important for later in the combo we're not going to go to ignister ignister is going to summon the second dragon of the deck this is why you must play master pendulum it's vital in fact dragons are so important in this deck you might want to play two master pendulum because i'm a master of pendulum myself i'm literally this guy <laughs> i'm this guy i'm just i just got bigger i just got a six pack he has a four pack you have a six pack too buddy but his legs are bigger than mine i don't train legs uh okay so the reason why you need to play this is you go into pisty and it's only other dragon in the deck so you guys might want to play two if you don't if you're not super confident with your skills with the deck next i'm actually going to use ignister and beyond pendulum and triple burst ignister just like auto's revolution dragon is not once per turn so now i'm going to use pisty actually to special ignister and i'm gonna go into seal i'm gonna trigger ignister again that's the whole premise of the deck dynamite you, you now want to go into dynister with it because you're gonna get some free ads auto revolution dragon now has a choice at this point if i'm playing the amorphage lecury lock i'm locking him out of spells i'm locking him out of special summoning i have branded beast i have he can't attack any of my monster with dynister i have the full lock i don't play it so the end board will be a little weaker than that we're gonna go dynister now i decide to special ced uh with these two i go into galaxy eyes photon lord this should have been whole parbinger because i might as well put whole parbinger up there as a spell trap negate because then we're a little weak to spells uh but that's fine uh we're gonna use this spec here we're gonna now decide to go talents because we went through our whole hand and he didn't have anything we summon dynister get up majesty pegasus use dynister now to special majesty pegasus from graveyard and we add majesty pegasus from dynister's effect whenever it's tributed so this says it you be tribute you could special summon by tributing the above cards you control so you could actually trigger dynamite power load by fusion summoning for dynaster power then it triggers it to add the draco so you like in your hand at this point i'm gonna use sky iris to pop the dynaster there's a specific reason why to get another revolution dragon i am now gonna scale revolution dragon and special that same dynaster back dynaster just like ignister is not once per turn so now I'm going to normal summon to make Electromite, which I have not used already. I'm going to use Electromite effect, popping Magister Paladin. The reason why I wanted Ignis to win the graveyard to search Joker for a follow-up. Then after that, I'm going to use Dynaster to special that exact same Ignis. At this point, I could go for an Apollosa for three. A little bit greedy here. I'm like, okay, why don't I make Apollosa for four? Might as well. I could have just kept it, but you do want to trigger the Revolution Dragon because it's a free draw. So I'm like, you know what? It's a free draw anyways. I didn't Electromite yet. Might as well get Apollosa for four and just replace that card. Ended up drawing Maxi. Not bad. Then we get Apollosa for four. At this point, we have a double search for Magnuma and Magister Paladin to get the follow-up. So I search the best follow-up in the deck, Auto Revolution. I have Joker. I have Druid Worm, Branded Beast, Apollosa, Seal, and uh this this should have been whole harbinger so this will be whole harbinger negate a spell the reason why whole harbinger is vital is you can't enter battle and attack seal that's very important and by having whole harbinger that will be a spell negate apollos are for four all of apollos's effects will resolve all of seals effects will resolve that's what whole harbinger does i don't know why i summon galaxy eyes so imagine this is whole harbinger so that's seal interruption that's seal bringing up ball drake which would be, be an interrup interruption four apollosas that's six uh, all the Apollosas are resolving because of Hope Harbinger's effect. So that's six. That's seven for Hope Harbinger. I'm not going to count Hope Harbinger's attack effect, but it's still relevant. Branded Beast at eight, Druid Worm at nine, and Maxi at ten. That's ten interruptions. Your opponent does not have a chance, and you have an insane follow up. 
So that's the typical combo. Uh, sometimes instead of Apoloza, it's a Hope Harbinger and a Galaxy Eyes Photon. You could play Mascarena if you like, but I don't want it to take up too much slate space. I prefer the extra deck be more so for going second. And you have Maxi, Ash, Bistials. You have like eight Bistials. And it's just such a good deck. It's incredible. So that is the gist of the combo. And I'm going to be posting in the next few days duels with this deck. So you could see how it is against meta. You could see how it is just dueling. What happens when you get interrupted? What happens when you get hand trapped? What happens when your opponent ends on six negates and you don't open hand traps? What do you do? There's ways to play around everything. And I'm going to show that. Uh, just follow, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss them. See you guys in the next video. Shout out my deck box. Shout out Sam for me stealing his office. And also check out the beautiful play mats for... I know you guys are Master Duel players, but hop on the TCG. TCG is fucking fantastic. I love TCG. In fact, we're preparing for a regional in Toronto in a few days. So I'm excited to win that. I don't know what I'm playing. I'm actually debating playing Draco Slayer. Uh, it's not the greatest in TCG format currently, but I fucking love Draco Slayer. So I kind of want to take a TCG. I want to rock with it in TCG and I want to rock with it in Master Duel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.